Now, we've already used the word, so let's do it formally. When you have a graph, and you have an integer n at least three now, a sequence of n distinct vertices is called a cycle of length n. Now, use the word length. If xi is adjacent to xi plus 1, whenever 1 is less than equal to i less than n, and the last one, xn, is adjacent to the first one. So in this graph, the example is that 5, 8, 9, 7, 1, 3 is a cycle of length 6. Let's check it out. 5 to 8, yep. 8 to 9, yep. 9 to 7, yep. 7 to 1, okay. 1 to 3, okay. 3 back to 5 is okay. I need that 3 back to 5. Uh, in almost every instance when authors, researchers, students are talking about cycles, they do not list the first vertex twice. So they do not say 5, 8, 9, 7, 1, 3, 5. You see what I'm saying? They just say, remember that if it's a cycle, if I use the word cycle, then I am implying that you can get from the last one back to the first one via an edge. And why do I not shrink from the word length? Because for a cycle, the number of edges and the number of vertices is the same. It's, it's path that you have this curious little thing that the number of edges is one fewer. So in a cycle, you can talk about length or size. They are the same. Does this graph have a Hamiltonian cycle? Is it possible to visit every vertex exactly once on a cycle and get back to where you started with. And why would anybody care? What a silly problem. I mean, it must be nothing but a puzzle. Hmm? Oh, oh, you mean anybody who is involved with routing of vehicles, trucks, deliveries, they might not want to repeat Oh, maybe maybe people do care. Hmm. 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 I have to remember that. All right, loose points. A vertex is called a loose point, also an isolated point, if it has no neighbors, if its degree is zero. So in the graph shown, there are two loose points two isolated vertices, they are two and four. Now, uh, this again, it, you got to be clear here. You got to specify what the vertex set is, because we could have the same ambiguity here. Are we talking about one graph, two graphs, or three graphs? But see, I, here I, I, I was explicit. I said the vertex set is one through 11. All the vertices are in this graph. So in this entire graph, vertices 2 and 4 are loose. They are isolated. Is there much point in drawing a, a picture of a graph when every vertex is isolated? Only if you enjoy doing this. Then, because that's all you're going to do, right? What's well, the picture? The picture is not very interesting, that's all. Cliques in graphs. Definition. 
Let G be a graph. When n is greater than or equal to 1, a set, oh, in fact, yeah, I don't even need the n greater than or equal to 1. A set S of vertices in G is called a clique if any two distinct vertices in S are adjacent in G. So a clique is just a set of vertices. But the requirement is that any two vertices in S have to be neighbors in the graph. Here's the graph. Again, the, the graph is on the vertex set 1 through 11. And I claim that the following sets are cliques. Singleton 2, doubleton 2, uh, 6, 10, the 3 element set 1, 3, 5, and the 5 element set 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, often students are confused. How can a 1 element set be a clique? A 1 element set is always a clique, vacuously. Because if you deny that, you have to show me two vertices that are not adjacent. It's a, uh, 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 students get confused by this uh, notion of vacuous truth. True or false? I am sitting on every purple couch in this room. True or false? I heard both answers, so. It's true. It's true. I am sitting on every purple couch in this room because if you deny that, you have to show me a purple couch in this room on which I am not sitting. <laughs> there aren't any. Vacuous truth. Vacuous truth. So a one element subgraph of a graph is a clique. OK, so that's why the loose point, too, is a clique. Well, any vertex is a clique. 6 and 10 is a clique because 6 is a neighbor of 10. 1, 3, and 5 is a clique because 1 is a neighbor of 3, 1 is a neighbor of 5, and 3 is a neighbor of 5. And 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, hopefully, is a clique because each pair in that is an adjacent pair. Question? Um, is a point like not loose also a clique? Yes, any, any one element set is a clique. Question? Subset and a clique, then. OK, look at the subset 158. Is that a clique? 158. No. The best you could say is that the sequence 158 is a path. You can't, see, paths are sequences. So you can't say squiggles, 158 is a path. Bad, bad. You say the sequence, 158 is a path. But when you say 135 is a clique, it becomes a set. The order is not important. Obviously, in this picture, the biggest clique of them all is that five-element clique. Agreed? There are no cliques of size six. 